locally for people devastated in the Bahamas. That ranges from big companies to small businesses and individuals. News Channel 8's Rod Carter joining us now live with more on that. Rod, people want to help. They really do. In fact, uh, Keith, Winn-Dixie is one of the companies that are doing a lot of helping. If you want to come to Winn-Dixie and go grocery shopping, you can add a few dollars. And through the American Red Cross, you'll be able to make a donation to Bahama relief efforts. However, if you want to buy something like a case of water, there are a lot of companies who are trying to do those kinds of donations, including one man who's a local barber. And for him, it's more than just a donation drive. Really, it's personal. Um, I had a cousin that was stuck on the roof of the house. At Maurice's Vintage Barber Shop on Nebraska Avenue. I hear it, I see the pictures, but it's, it's hard to believe. This week is all about cuts and collections. Owner Maurice Roll is gathering supplies for Hurricane Dorian relief in the Bahamas. For him, it's personal. You just had to tear up, you know. It was, it was you know, hard to watch. oh my God, you know. I had family members that was, you know, unaccountable, you know, for. Um, we just actually got a chance to get in contact with them this morning. Maurice's father is from Exuma, and Maurice is helping because, well, he feels helpless. Helpless and guilty because I'm here and they're there, you know. I was just there, you know, not too long ago, just a couple months, you know. So, um, this is a lot of, lot of emotions. And not just for him, but customer Maya Turnipseed, who has relatives in the Bahamas, too. They're safe, but everything's gone. No homes, everything's just destroyed. And now everyone affected there needs help, all the help they can get. It's survival mode. They, they need water, they need bug spray, you know, necessity items, things that we may take for granted here in the States that um, we don't need right now. Those are things that they need. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. And I mean, when you think about it, a bottle of water really isn't that big of a deal to many of us who are kind of basking in the sunshine right now. But for the folks there in the Bahamas, this could mean truly life or death for them. So here's what you can do. All of those hurricane supplies that you bought that maybe you did not get a chance to use, consider donating those to people like Maurice and Maurice's Vintage Barbershop because it'll definitely make a difference for the folks there who are really struggling in the Bahamas. Keith, Jen. Thank you, Rod.